Welcome back my gentle people, this is Corner Stories and today we have some interesting stories dealing with family drama. So let's get into it. I am going to propose to my girlfriend on Friday. I mentioned it to dad and stepmother because they invited me and her over for dinner Friday night and I reminded them that it is our anniversary and said I was going to propose. Their reaction threw me off because they were both happy for me but they also asked me to delay my proposal. They said it is because of one of my sisters. They said she is hopeful about getting engaged soon and I should wait until after that before I propose. My mom and stepfather also feel the same way. That sister is in a relationship. However they have been together for 9.5 years. They have a son and a daughter. They own a condo and a business together. But they aren't married. My sister's partner says he is fine without being married and he feels he doesn't need a piece of paper for their relationship to be real. He's been clear he doesn't want marriage. My sister on the other hand really wants to be married and to have a wedding. I don't think I should have to wait. Firstly I don't believe a proposal is imminent like my dad and my mom said. Secondly I don't think I should have to put my life on hold just for my sister's life and I don't think her being upset about me getting married when she isn't is on me. My sister has more money than I do, she has a loving partner and beautiful, healthy kids. If she is upset about me getting engaged she needs to look at herself. I told my dad and my mom I'm not putting anything on hold and I don't care if news of my engagement will upset my sister. They didn't take it well even if they reiterated how happy they are that I'm proposing. They want me to reconsider. Since him and my sister started living together all three of his own siblings and my brother and other sister have gotten married, so me proposing won't make him want to propose too. Relevant comments and responses from OP, I'm just curious, is the sister older than you? Are you the youngest? OP, yes, she is the oldest. The birth order is her, my brother, me and my other sister. My brother and other sister are both married, in 2017 and 2019. Your stepfather doesn't give a rat's ass, this is all your mom doing crazy mom worrying. Propose and forget about it, your sister will be happy for you. OP, this is all your mom doing crazy mom worrying. No. My stepfather, as well as my dad and my stepmother, who found out first, all had the same reaction as my mom. All four of them reacted strongly, it was just my mom. Your sister will be happy for you. No she won't be. Update, I proposed to my girlfriend on Friday and she said yes. We decided we don't want a big, expensive wedding. I've asked her if she's sure because if she wants her family there we can have a wedding and I'll just make sure anyone from my family who causes problems stays away. She says no one in her family will mind. We decided to go on a cruise on the Rhine River. It goes from the Netherlands to Switzerland. We are going at the end of November and will get married sometime during the cruise, most likely on November 23rd. As I knew would happen, my sister is upset. My dad, stepmother, mom and stepfather are upset I did not listen even though they also say they are happy for me. I am ignoring my sister's behavior and just focusing on being enjoying this time in my life. I would also like to address some things, my sister's boyfriend has always been clear that he doesn't want marriage. My sister has known from the beginning. Since the two of them moved in together seven years ago, my brother and my other sister have gotten married and so have all three of his of his siblings. Me getting engaged would not make him want to propose too. My parents asked both my brother and my other sister to delay getting engaged when it was their time as well. My sister isn't the favorite like that so I don't understand my parents. Also, even if he was about to propose to my sister I don't see why it means I couldn't also propose to my girlfriend. I proposed to her privately so I don't understand why my sister's boyfriend proposing would matter at all to my plans. Story 2. I called my twin sister out for her years of insults, and she refuses to admit it was rude I have a twin sister, 22, growing up her and I were beyond close till we got older. I got a new job today and was laughing with my parents when they asked my weakness. I said me being a talker. My sister piped in, saying she wouldn't hire me in the first place cause I'm annoying. My sister has always for years made fun of me, boss me around and practically play second mom. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. My entire life my sister has always had the logic that she's perfect and always right. I told her it's sad that she's always been rude to me and how sad it is she has only apologized twice to me our entire lives. I told her what's worse is that I know she doesn't even regret anything she said to me and I know it. She broke down crying and went to work crying cause I let her have it that I'm sick and tired of it. My mother now wants me to apologize cause my sister went to work in tears for what I said about me being done with her and considering going no contact if she stops her behavior. In the comments, your mom has in effect trained your sister to think her behavior is okay. 
She didn't train my sister in it we grew up with an abusive father and as my sister and I grew up with it it developed into my sister developing that controlling and bossy behavior from it. No my mom used to not notice and though a few years ago that it's just siblings being siblings till I pointed out how bad it is. She is always in her office us why she doesn't notice it as she never sees it. She does ask my sister to apologize if she thinks my sister is in the wrong but she always tells me walk away if she's being rude update, I asked my stepdad about the situation not to apologize and told me next time she says it just laugh at it like a joke. He then gave me a hug saying ss proud of me having a spine now since I used to not have one. Final update, later that night, my sister came home from work and knocked on my door. She was holding a letter I had left for her in her room explaining all she's done to me and how much it hurts me. How much I love her but want a sister, not a boss or bully. Her and I both cried and hugged and she apologized for not realizing how much of a toll it took on me my mom heard the crying but my mom apologized also after I showed the post crying and apologizing for not realizing how bad it was sooner and letting me down as a parent. My mom and sister has since agreed to start going to therapy as of today, and to say the least, I finally have hope things might actually get better. Tonight, my sister and I have plans to go see a movie and grab ice cream like we used to all the time years ago to slowly start rebuilding our relationship. In the comments 12 days later, trust me, you have to take the good and the bad with a sister. Like earlier today, even though it hasn't even been two weeks, she came up to visit me at work with her boyfriend's dog, and when my boss said somebody needed me. She knew I had been up since 5am for work. She came and brought me coffee and some lunch. I decided to thank her by giving his dog a bath and groom for me cause mine get it for free at my work. So things are going well with her? Very well, actually, like she was talking to me this morning while I was making breakfast, saying how happy she is that I love my new job, saying she's never been happier for me and that she's never seen me this happy in a long time. Third and final story my mom, 60s, wanted to force a reconciliation between me, 35F, and my sister, 32, but it backfired. I don't know if I want her in my life anymore. Background, I started dating my brother's best friend when I was 16. We were together until I graduated high school when he proposed and I rejected it. There was a lot of drama, with my family asking me to reconsider because we could have a long engagement or make a promise to reconcile. My relationship with my brother, 36, suffered for a while, but the one with my sister, 32, never recovered. She was sure my ex was the best fit for me and became unbearable when she started dating my ex's brother. My ex was invited everywhere by my siblings, even to some family holidays, but I didn't say anything since he was their friend too. That is until my sister started to push for us to get back together. My sister did everything from trying to get us on blind dates to making us share a room during holidays. No matter the occasion, my ex was invited to it. After a while I had enough and asked my parents to intervene, they were clear with my siblings and stopped inviting my ex to things or allowing him to tag along so much. It was slightly better but while my brother backed off my sister didn't. It all came to a crash when I met my husband during a semester abroad. He was from another university but the same country and we just clicked, it was magical for me and we got engaged after dating for a year. My family was very happy for me, except my sister. She kept insisting I was in the honeymoon phase and will grow out of it, I clearly didn't and after many many many, can't express enough how many, fights and attempts to reunite me with my ex I simply let her know if she pulled anything again I will stop talking to her. What does she do after that warning? Makes me her MOH and requests I spend all my time with the bridal party aka my ex and sets one of her friends as my husband's date. We didn't realize until we were at the reception and the poor girl tried to make a pass at my husband, my sister said that since we are not married it was okay to explore things with other people. I left the party and the next day spoke with my parents and brother, explained that while I won't make them choose I will not talk to my sister ever again and if they try to fix stuff between us I will simply cut contact with them too. My mom was devastated and tried to negotiate, but my dad and brother said they would respect my decision and apart from two attempts for my mom I haven't spoken, written, or anything with my sister in the past six years. My sister has tried everything to reconcile with me. From gifts to tantrums but I simply don't talk to her at all. If we are at a family event or dinner I simply act like she doesn't exist, at first she made snarky comments or tried to create drama but since nobody backed her up she gave up. She did have a meltdown when she was informed she was invited to my wedding but would not be part of any preparation. My brother says he feels guilty for going along with it for so long and his relationship with my ex has suffered since my ex, they still talk but they are not as closed anymore. The issue, my mom's birthday was couple weeks ago and I finally announced we are expecting our first child, this is not the first grandchild but is the first granddaughter. 
Everybody was very happy except my sister. My mom noted that and asked me for tea the other day, my sixth sense told me not to go but I wanted to be positive. The first thing I noticed when I arrived was my sister's car, then as I entered the door there was my sister, her husband, my ex and my ex MIL. They wanted to have an intervention since my childish tactic has gone for so long. My ex said that he was just trying to be romantic but he understands I couldn't appreciate it, his mom said I was just hurting my sister for wanting the best for me and she apologized already so I need to forgive her. I was just sending texts to my family, dad, brother, husband, and looking at my mom in disbelief. My BAL had the balls to tell me I was a hurtful person and I need to learn how to act like an adult since I am having a baby now. Then my mom began reading a letter about how hurt she was her daughters weren't close, how my sister was wrong but she was well intended, etc. Then my sister read her letter and began crying and telling me basically another version of what the rest did. I said nothing to anybody, just sat there until my brother arrived. He was angry beyond anything I've ever seen before, he grabbed my stuff and told them all he was really disappointed and disgusted. We went outside and sat in his car until my dad and husband arrived, by then I was just sobbing and he kept saying sorry. I am unsure what happened in there but I sent everybody, except mom, an email with my lawyer's number info attached and stated I don't wish to be contacted by any of them ever again and if they do I will go to the police. Nobody has contacted me but I know from my dad my mom and sister are hysterical, they told him they hope to repair things and for my sister to be able to be on my baby's life, maybe possibly being a godmother. My dad is staying with my brother at the moment, they support me but some others in the family don't. I've Irvin had mutual friends call me since they are worried about my sister's well-being and asking me what happened since she is now going by the narrative my husband is keeping me away from my family. I hate having my business in public but I did go the public route and posted a long FB post about everything that happened. Sister, BIL and X are being dragged which even if it wasn't 100% intended I feel is deserved. Now, my mom has been inconsolable which does make me feel bad but not as bad as she made me feel with her little intervention. I agreed to have a talk with her a couple of days ago and laid the ground rules for any possible future interaction, including, therapy, family therapy, clear boundaries, no sharing information about me with my sister, and separate holidays. Most important, if she ever pulls anything like this again she will for sure be cut off. She feels this is too much but is willing to do it, she thought it meant immediate access to baby news and it is all solved but I told her it is a process and she needs to prove she has improved. My dad and brother refuse to talk to my sister and they keep apologizing for not stopping it earlier. We've forgiven them since they were able to move on and grow. My husband supports whatever I decide but my MIL is unsure cutting my mom's access to her granddaughter is the way to go but says it is ultimately my decision. I am torn about what to do with my mom. TLDR. Haven't talked to my sister in 6 years because of her obsession with me and my ex my mom organized an intervention on her behalf so we could reconcile and now I am unsure if I even want my mom in my life anymore. Relevant comments by OOP, in response to a commenter saying OOP's sister is unhinged, she got fixated with the idea we could both be married to brothers and be best friends. In response to another comment, OOP talks about her ex not being able to move on almost 20 years later, yes we are almost the same age. The most ridiculous and scary thing is he still has the mixtapes, CDs, I made him when we were dating. Those things are about 20 years old and he still hold on to them. In response to a commenter asking if her family is Indian and or religious, not Indian nor from a religious family. My parents were good nice parents, they thought it was a romantic thing at the beginning but later realized it wasn't. They encouraged me to go to college and everything. Now I know my dad actually supported me and my mom might have just played along and have the same beliefs as my sister. My sister had this idea we would be best friends married to brothers. Some more background info and a small update, posted to OOP's own Reddit page on December 10, 2021, the edit I wanted to post but couldn't, I want to thank you for the amount of support and advice so far. I want to give a little more info that is in my comments since there are too many for me to answer them all individually. My ex and I broke up when I was 18, he is 37 now. The reason for our breakup was that I didn't want to get married or engaged. My sister insistence comes from the fixation of wanting the both of us to marry brothers and being best friends. My mom has always been so nice to my husband but I am beginning to think it was all a facade, which makes me very sad. My ex has been with people since the breakup, he also has two kids with an ex but he's never been married. My sister says that is a very romantic thing to do since he has only ever wanted to marry me. I should also mention his obsessive behavior is not only with me. 
I know from the grapevine he was very similar with the mother of his children but now he is refocusing on me because my sister is encouraging it since she needs his help on getting back in my good graces so she can be a good aunt. My brother did start to cut him off when I told my parents I was very uncomfortable with my ex around all the time. I was living away for college but would visit my family during breaks. He also made a very big effort to make my husband feel welcome which deteriorated his relationship with my ex even more because he felt betrayed by my brother. Nowadays my husband is one of my brother's closest friends and he only speak with my ex when is about our nephew, sister's son, or to not be rude. Both my parents seem to be supportive of me not wanting to be around my ex so much but I guess only my dad was in agreement. On the day of the tea party my mom told him she was making me my favorite tea and sweets but he couldn't stay since we would have quality time together. My dad left to go hang with my uncle since he thought it was a nice sentiment from my mom. He is very pissed off. My husband tried very hard with my sister when they met but now he just ignores her and believes she is mentally unwell. We don't know if she is or not, still there is no excuse for how she behaves. They invited the ex and his mom because they thought it would be good for me to face the root of my issues with my sister, or at least is their official version. Also, we are not Indian, not really religious, my husband and I are from the same race. There is also no wealth disparity between my ex and my husband, if there is it would be in favor to my husband. Lastly, my SILs, both my brother's wife and husband's sisters, are enraged about the situation. My husband and his sisters will be talking with their mom about her comment. My brother and his wife are considering going NC with my mom permanently, in the meanwhile they will not allow her to see my nephews for a bit. The more I read, the more I think I might have to go NC with my mom for the sake of my kid. My husband is heartbroken to think all their interactions were faked but says he is even more enraged she made me cry and doubt I was a good person. I realize there are still countless conversations to have with my family about my mom, but I will definitely be going for a restraining order against my sister and the ex. The proper semi-update, the state of my family so far, had a conversation with my mother but she insists she knew best, I am a bad person and she will be getting grandparents rights or even custody. I am nothing what she says, but I still panicked so we sent her a letter about it. My dad moved out definitely, he told her that he could not sign on her terrorizing his kid. My brother and his wife also decided to go NC. I know it seems very sudden but I think I undersold the level of despair I had after the intervention. My husband told them afterward they had to think very well about what they appreciated and to be kind and receptive to everything but would not raise a kid on a toxic environment, reason 3271637 why I love my husband, my husband is very heartbroken about my mom and her fakeness, he says she will never get anything from him. That is as much as revenge goes here. My husband and sisters talked to my MIL about her comment and made her understand why it was very out of it, as many of you assumed she is a very loving mom, from a loving family. My dad and brother keep apologizing for any role they played on this, my dad can't believe it went to this point, he says it is still surreal for him. Regardless, they support me no matter what and say they are willing to help me fight whatever ridiculous fight my mom or sitter put. Final update, posted to OOP's Reddit page on December 17, 2021, or I hope it is. I want to thank the lovely messages and encouraging words. I decided to post it here so it wouldn't be deleted like the original was. Things are great and horrible at the same time but I am trying to remain positive about everything. My brother and his wife sat my nephews down and explained that grandma was ill and tried to hurt Auntie Diamond and the little cousin. They explained grandma would not be part of their lives anymore but that doesn't mean she doesn't love them, it was really hard but the kids are smart. They were also told other aunt is no longer in their life but they don't care because they dislike her, not because of me alone simply because she is not exactly great with them either. My mom lost it when she was informed and started claiming she had rights and she will get to see her grandchildren. My dad is looking for a permanent place but will stay with us until January, mainly due to my brother's MIL coming to visit and we having the space. He is really sad, has called divorce lawyers already, moved bank stuff, etc. He has been getting countless emails, messages, and calls from my mom but he doesn't reply to anything. The lawyer told him to not block her right now. He considered maybe forgiving her but I got a huge spike on my blood pressure a couple days after my last post here because she decided to come to my place with my sister. My sister had never been to my home, my mom knew I didn't want her there but I guess that doesn't matter anymore. The cleaning lady let them in since she knows my mom and I haven't had the time to inform her she was not allowed to come in anymore. I was just coming from some errands and I saw the car, this time I didn't get in. I called all of my relatives and my SAL, husband's sister, was the one closer to me, she confronted them and told them either they leave or I call the police on them for trespassing. 
They left and I started feeling bad, we went to the DR and they told me all the excitement was not good and I need to start relaxing or it would hurt the baby. My dad went home with my brother, uncle and my husband and took every single thing he could think of. My husband says my sister was there too and she kept screaming at him that he destroyed her family. My dad told my mom and sister they almost killed the baby and he also doesn't want to talk to any of them again. My sister kept sending messages to my brother, begging for help but is not happening. I am devastated and very sad for my nephew since he is losing so much of his family because his mother has some wacky ideas but it is what it is. As per the custody and grandparent rights my mom wants to throw around so much, my lawyer sent her a letter stating she caused harm to my health and the baby and if she keeps harassing me it will become an official legal matter. My brother also sent her a letter using her harassing of me. Both, mom and sister, have refused to go to therapy. They might be mentally ill but with all of this coming to light it is obvious they have been in agreement for a long time. I will focus on spending the holidays with my family, being healthy and going to therapy. And that is the end of the story, that's it guys this is where I will leave you, I hope you enjoyed the stories I had for you, I certainly enjoyed them, please be sure to drop a like or a comment and it would mean a lot to me if you subscribe to the channel. Until next time, be kind be curious and I will see you. Corner Stories signing off.